I'm Lana. Welcome to Stir It Up. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. I'm going to make my 11 treasure banana pudding. And I really like the, the cook and serve. Eh, we don't have time for it. Instant will be fine. Not as good, but fine. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to start pouring in the pudding. And I'm going to use vanilla just because they didn't have any white chocolate. White chocolate is my favorite. We're going to pour in the two cups of milk. Like when you're cooking, if you're laughing, or if you've got somebody in the kitchen with you and you guys are mixing it up a little bit, having some fun, somehow the food knows it. It always tastes better. <laughs> What we're doing is we're going to make this really pretty from the outside, okay? Um, the people aren't going to see what's on the inside until they take their spoon and dig in. Layer and alternate just imperfectly. Nobody wants to eat something that looks perfect because then it doesn't look like it's been made with love. <laughs> so we've already got our pudding, the vanilla. It's already thickening up. We're going to stir it up again here in just a little bit. We like to stir it up around here anyway. Um, I've usually got lots of family coming in and out and they're always stirring something up. And this third one, it is the banana cream flavor. All right, so we've got a banana cream and we've got a vanilla and we've got a cheesecake flavor we're gonna layer these because honey bunny let me tell you what every stinking time you take a bite you're gonna be able to get another flavor and it is so good so we're over here we're gonna stir this one up again and now we're gonna stir this one up and they are gonna be awesome so what we're doing is we're gonna layer these a little bit um they're not going to be perfect. They're going to slide around because it's a round ball, right? We're going to cut up a couple bananas. And although it's banana pudding, we're not going to use all the bananas. A little bit of the Cool Whip, and we're going to dab it on the sides of the bowl, okay? That is going to help hold our cookies in place and help hold our bananas in place as we're climbing up the glass wall. You know, a lot of women think they've got to break the glass ceiling. We're going to be climbing the glass wall mini chocolate chips and these things are amazing and we always always put a few over to the side to nibble on while we cook now we're going to come over here and this is um her it's like a heath bit like a little toffee bit these slivered and sliced almonds are wonderful they um will get soft over time so you're not gonna if you have any left you're not gonna want to keep this in the refrigerator for too long they chopped them a little bit thicker than what i wanted you know you do what you can but i'm not gonna take the time to re-chop these are walnuts also really good lastly i'm a big coconut fan you may not be but this is one of my treasures. So we're going to drop some coconut in here, a nice thin layer. Little pieces of coconut everywhere. It's like a little piece of heaven. All right, so, so far, this is what it looks like. It has quite a few little goodies on top and we haven't even begun to go to the next one yet. So I think you can see where we're going with this. We are not quite ready for our next layer of um, vanilla wafers. This is going to be our next layer of pudding though. We're gonna use about a third or a half of this just like we did the other and we're gonna repeat the cycle over and over and over until everything is layered and lovely. Dab a little bit on the sides. How can you go wrong with looking at a little bit of pudding on the sides of the pudding bowl? You can't. Now we're ready for another couple little cookies and if you have any kids in the family and they want to help you with this they will love this part because there's no way to do it wrong and we're going all the way around the bowl and then we're going to add some bananas in and out of here and it's going to be so cute see how it's looking already really cute outside is half the presentation always keep a towel with lemons over your shoulder so that you can wipe your fingers here we go we've got our third kind of pudding going on here and it's so good and you can actually smell these pudding layers now we're getting ready for our treasures again right so we're going to sprinkle some 
some chocolate chips, and we're going back to the slivered almonds. So good, you can't stand it. And it gives such a good crunch. Slide in some walnuts, just a few. And don't forget, if you can find these, the little Heath pieces, man, it is fantastic. Coconut. Coconut. Add a few vanilla wafers down into the inside of this. Give it a good little cookie flavor, a little cookie crunch. And it's looking so pretty already. And this isn't even the top layer. It's gonna get covered with another layer. This is what we've got so far. Isn't that pretty? Lovely. This is gonna be the last layer of pudding. And you can see a bowl this size holds three packages of pudding. So that's why I went with three. Get three alternate flavors. It's so much better. Swipe it across. There could be a joke in there somewhere. Okay, so we're going to finish slicing up this banana. And we're going to slide that here and there. Okay, some of these are thick and some are thin. And that's kind of meant to be because life is imperfect. At least mine is. A little bit more whipped cream because I want this piled high and that additional whipped cream is going to add some additional height. We're always going to remember, eat our mini chocolate chips that are over here, and then clean the sides of the bowl. A couple more, because we will work that in very nicely. And here we go, our layers of good stuff, okay? All over again, this is a little bit of coconut and a little bit of the good almonds that are sliced or slivered, whatever you want. A little bit of our nuts. These are the walnuts. A little bit more of our Heath toppings. Man, this stuff is so good. And some more chocolate chips. Oh my goodness, fantastic. We're going to take our last little bit of pudding. We're going to put it right on the top, okay? And while it's coming out of there, we're going to just give it a nice little smear. We're going to bring it over to the sides the best we can. The middle is the most important because people dig from the middle. I don't know. And we're going to give it some height. You know like when you buy those really pretty desserts? Uh, at a bakery or you um, make a really nice cake or something and you've got your nice little fluffed up areas. I see the cat. He's like a mafia cat. That boy, he is something. Okay, he's hungry. He says, I'm starving. Our very last little bit of vanilla wafers, this is what we're gonna do. If you have any breaks in them, stick them down in the pudding. No reason not to hide it. We'll stick one like that, and we'll stick one like that. Hide your imperfections if you can. Otherwise, live with them and love yourself over them. This is the end result. So pretty. I hope that you like it as much as I do and as much as all of us do. If you do, like and subscribe. Remember, we're always going to be stirring it up. Um, I enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy it. And I can't wait to eat it because I'm starving. Is it ready yet? I'm starving. <laughs>